Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card. If you would like to look at courses, personal reading offerings, get in with the live that I have all the time, check the description box. There's always going to be something going on. Lots of good stuff there. All right. Let's see what we have here for today. All right. Well, I'm getting an image of a king in his castle. He's always been told that he's powerful, but he knows the deep secret within him is that he knows he could be replaced at any moment with one good battle and um, living in fear that he's going to be knocked from his throne. Don't allow yourself to be caged in by, I keep thinking ideas. I keep thinking like realizing that we've been lied to now and I don't mean that in like a paranoid kind of way or in an angry resentful kind of way but just in a um, I get a sudden realization I see what the truth is and I'm going to back away quietly I'm going to get myself out of this but if you look at this um, artwork here I don't know if you'll be able to see it there's one bird that's still left in the cage so there's always going to be someone and could that someone be you who is just stuck in indecision you refuse to move forward you want to bury your head in the sand and pretend like things aren't happening or to downplay everything so that you don't have to face it. It's definitely that. It says, release yourself from that which holds you back, a need to detox. So a need to wake up. You know, ascension is not just about waking up to all my spiritual gifts and how special I am. No, it's not that. It's waking up to what we've been trained to think. It's waking up and remembering we're the ones that have the power. And when we've been sort of sprinkled with sleeping potion or whatever, <laughs> however you want to see that, and we've been asleep this entire time, the, the, the can I say the rodents? That's terrible. But um, the rodents have been allowed to play and to take over. And it's time to wake up and take care of it in a peaceful, loving manner, of course. So that's part of what holds us back. And that's why this bird is still stuck in the cage going, yeah, but I, I've been told that it's so dangerous out there. And it could be, but you'll handle it, okay? You will be able to handle and take care of yourself. So it says unnecessary worry. Did, did I read? Uh, let me read it again. Release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox. Unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. We've been told we can't take care of ourselves. We've been told, again, it's a scary place out there. And, you know, you need us to tell you what to do. And I cannot tell you just doing this work that I have for so many years how often people come to me completely disempowered and thinking that they are under the control of their boss. I was just, again, this randomly pops up for me every once in a while. The last corporation I worked at, um, there was a lot of shifting and changing going on. And I was literally told, even though I, in one, in one narrative, I'm being told that I'm not safe there. And it was starting to kick up a lot of gossip and people were being abusive and just terrible. Um, and then on the other hand, I was told I wasn't allowed to leave. Literally told that I was not allowed to leave. And when I reminded this person that I can do whatever I want, <laughs> I am in charge of my life. He literally got this look on his face. It was a lot of drama, but he got this look on his face. Like you don't understand that you don't have control over this. It was very terrifying. And it was like one of those scenarios where, I was in this, um, I was, I was like in someone else's nightmare. That's what it felt like. Like all these people around me are so damn delusional and so okay with what's going on and so convinced that they know the truth when they don't convinced that they knew who I was and they didn't have a clue who I was. Like it, it was like being in the room and being the only sober person. <laughs> like that's what it felt like. And it, it was just kind of crazy. And they literally tried to put this deeper sleep over me of you can't go anywhere. And I believed it to some extent. I was kind of one foot in, one foot out. But I believed it to some extent for many years. And the abuse just kept getting worse and worse and worse. I've shared with you guys. It got to the point where a boss said that she was going to throw me on the floor. And uh, I was going to wait there outside of a conference room for her until she was ready for me. And basically laughed because she was treating me like a dog. She thought it was funny. Um, 
So that, that was my breaking point and that was my decision. I'm giving this example for very good reason in case you can relate to something like that or if you feel like, you know, people are really trying to have power over you, telling you this is what is possible for you and you know differently, right? You, you know that there's something different out there for you. So when you make that decision, that's how I started Angel Souls. I came out here and started this. So to take care of myself and not have to be under the rule of a toxic work environment. So what will you decide today? What will you have some realization around? Don't, don't allow yourself to be this bird that stays in the cage because everyone says that you have to and that, you know, you can't create. This might be some like toxic family narrative as well, where they didn't believe in you. They're telling you, you go by what the family says and nothing else and blah, 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 <laughs> all of that. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.